this was one of the ways that Jolly and I came up with, with splitting these massive big um, logs. It was just too hard to split them any other way, so started to go down to the wedges. It works out really well. Okay. That's well, a little bit hard work, but he enjoys it for his fitness and all the light of weight that he's lost. So he uses it for um, a lot of that. And here we go down the steep hill for the last time, carting these huge concrete blocks. So we better spin around. We'll spin around and we'll back down here. It's so good to be at the end of these blocks and be finishing this stuff up. It's been a bit of a slow old process carting all this down. But it um, certainly is a good thing to be um, getting it out of the way. We do look forward to trying to make the council happy in those things. Um, because they have been reasonably um, trying to help us out and work with us, which is um, a good thing. There's enough aggravation in uh, some of the other problems that happen in life or with neighbours complain about different things. Have a look at this Muppet here. The stuff across that fence hasn't been mowed in the last 12 months. And um, they got the hide to complain that there's too much water running across their block. And yet when the council came out and had a good look at it, there's no more water been channeled across their block in any shape or form. So anyway. That's uh, one of those things that happens when people don't come and talk to you. But I'd like to complain because um, I'm really unhappy with how that's uh, affecting our property. But, you know, that's one of the things. I went and had a chat to him uh, recently about it and it didn't go real well. But anyway, that's life. Okay guys, thank you very much for popping in. I'm Gary, I'm the Attitude Adjuster. G'day to all of you. Um, please like our videos, please subscribe, as it all helps out to, um, to create better content and more content. I think that'll be pretty good there. That should work out alright, I think. We should be able to hit that pile alright. It gets very uncomfortable trying to hold this um, what's name here and pitch it as you go. We'll see how we go here just to do the last little bit. There we go. So, the thing is with these things, as the trailer gets lighter, the excavator gets more um, more twitchy and more bumpy as to wanting to um, tip and tilt with the um, load because it is actually a pretty, pretty heavy load out to the side there. It's right on the limit for it. It's actually having trouble holding that up there and that. But, you know, you can sneak it along. You can sneak it along there all right and make it happen. It's all good. I'm going to have to dig out some of my old um, GoPro extras that I bought. Because I bought a heap of um, different things that I really haven't used too much. I don't think we're going to get that. Oh, that's pretty... Oh, we're up in the air. Oh, oh. We're off the ground. Don't try this at home, kids. This is riding the bubble. So anyway, we're going to go flop them back to ground as soon as I open the jaws and put that weight down. Oh, there we go. That's what it feels like. That's very useful. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to swing our boom around so we can reach a little. We're just a touch um, out of reach there to just give that a little nudge and square him up a little bit, which is what I'm actually trying to do there. Yes, just twitch him up there, let him roll back in, and he's as rock solid as can be. So that's us. We are officially finished that stuff and I am wrapped. Very, very, very happy. Okay, we'll pick him up and we'll head back up the hill, eh? We'll close our close our grab. So we can fold up as tight as we can. That's the reason why. Maneuver the trailer around. Get him to where we want him to be and then we'll swing over. There we go, swing over. And then we'll push him up the hill. 
just get to where we want to be. With a lot of the stuff exactly the same as a skid steer, you have to walk both motors forward before you can put the turn on there. Because the machine, especially under load like this going up the hill, can't turn it sideways well enough. So you've actually got to get them both walking forward. So you take the load off a bit and then you can um, steer. But if you just try and steer, you won't um, you won't be able to turn turn properly. So that's one of the things. So I'm just trying to be uh, what's her name to Jolly here. So I'll get Jolly to watch this gate for a second, and then I'll pop out. I'll drop this trailer, and then I'll come back in and move some of these logs around so as I can um, saw them up with the saws. Jolly, can you do us a favour? Here, yeah. take this um, and just give us a hand to drop the trailer. It's still taping, so I'll drop the trailer. Part of this thing is that you can use the um, jockey wheel to um, if it goes if it's up high enough. That's the thing to just drop the trailer. Wind it down as far as you can. Yep. Unfortunately, it's gotten bent on the thing, so we're going to have to do a video on straightening that um, the hitch on it. That's probably pretty close, matey. Unhitch it. Just move our what's the name away from him. Give you more room there. There you go. I've got it sitting on that block and it mustn't be sitting quite um, straight in between the wheels. So Okay. There we go, as easy as that. So now we'll go inside and we'll um, pick up some of this timber, set it into place so I can sharpen the saws up and then also get into cutting this timber up. There's that beautiful John Deere 6310. So it looks like we've got a big uh, slashing contract coming up, so that will be very good. Got to do some modifications and do some fabrication to build a, a push bar for it to uh, protect the front of it and the, the stuff. So here we go. Well, that was good to get all that stuff down there out of the way, so now I can put the timber across here and then actually cut it up. And it's not going to be in my way every time I want to get down this hill. G'day, mates. So this is what we're doing. We're loading some firewood over here so we can start to, um, start to chop him all up. And this is what we are involved with. So this is what it is like with an excavator. You can imagine how bad that would be without an excavator. Might just drop this up here, I think. There you go. That saved a lot of work, didn't it? There we go. Makes our life a lot easier with some of these things. 
might grab Jolly another splitting block. He likes to split on his block. So we'll bring one up here and we'll drop it over there. Perfect. So we have a lot of this uh, really good firewood timber here. It's a little bit awkward trying to get down into the... Oh, can't get that one. Oh, he's... Yeah, okay, I see why he's a um, bit of a problem. Because he's a much bigger piece than what I thought he was. And he's oddly, oddly shaped. Okay, let's pick that one up out of there. So as you can imagine, this machine makes life a lot easier when we're trying to hump, hump this firewood around to um, break it up. Also, I've stacked this up here a couple of times when I have had to get down into these areas. Um, and it makes light work of having to do all this by hand. I actually want to grab one of these and we want to run him through the saws and see what he's actually like. I'm sorry about all the bumping and all the moving around. There we go. Okay, I'll back him up a little bit. So I think Jolly wants us to grab this piece for him and just see if we can bust it. starting to make some decent inroads into this stuff here. It's very easy when you're doing stuff like this to forget exactly how powerful um, the machine is and how um, much some things weigh because you're throwing them around with ease. It's very, very easy to forget that. You might leave some of those really big pieces out of the way for a while. But we're lucky now because of some of the equipment we've got. We can actually get into places and um, collect firewood from places where it comes up for us to be able to get it from. So once we take the truck in there and we take the machinery in there, we can fetch quite a bit of stuff. Anyway, I think that might do for now. That looks like quite a reasonable pile. I've just got to go and sharpen some saws. Can I open that gate, Charlie? Can I open that gate? So thanks for joining us. Please subscribe. Please like our videos. Please take the time to say g'day to Jolly and I, Tipsy Kangaroo. Um, and uh, bless you all. Thanks for popping in. Please subscribe. I think I said that, didn't I? Please like. That's important. And please comment.